This is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Another video for you. And today I'm showing you how I added the 70 centimeter amateur radio band to my portable D-Star hotspot. And that's my hotspot. You may have seen this in uh, another of my YouTube videos. Um, it's all contained in a Pelican case for transportability, um, powered by a Raspberry Pi. And I'm using a two meter DVAP dongle. Underneath the Raspberry Pi is a MicroTik router, which I use for uh, internet connectivity when I'm away from home or away from an internet connection. At the moment, uh, I've got the Raspberry Pi directly connected to my home ethernet network. Now, this is a two meter DVAP. I wanted 70 centimeters. I had the option of buying a 70 centimeter DVAP dongle and indeed I actually allocated space in here for a 70 centimeter DVAP dongle. But uh, earlier this year, I became aware of the development of this device. This is the DV Mega Raspberry Pi radio um, created by Gus van Doren, Papa Echo One, Papa Lima Mike in the Netherlands. Uh, this is the web page. Uh, you can find it at www.dvmega.aurea.nl. Uh, a Google search for DV Mega will bring up this page, and that is the Raspberry Pi hotspot, the Raspberry Pi radio page being displayed there. Um, it's a very neat board. It contains the analog devices AD7021 chip, which is indeed the same chip you will find in the DVAP dongles. Um, it's also being used in a project by the Papa System guys in Southern, Cal Southern California who are using a development board um, by analog devices, which contains the 7021 chip. Um, it also has an Atmel microcontroller on board. It plugs nicely into the GPIO connector of the Raspberry Pi and uh, an SMA connector for, uh, for the RF for the antenna connection. Um, okay, we'll plug it in. It fits very neatly. Uh, the kit comes with a spacer which fits into the revision two of the Raspberry Pi B board and um, comes with all the screws you need to secure the Raspberry Pi radio in place. I'll just do this all left-handed, but... Um, okay, there we go. Oh, that's out of the way. And I'm gonna use my old uh, DVAP dongle antenna and screw it into the SMA connector without cross-threading it. There we go. Now, the Jonathan Naylor software, the D-Star repeater software, has been updated um, earlier this year to support the DB Mega uh, products, um, including this and also the uh, Arduino shield, which contains the AD7021 chip as well. Um, I did have some problems configuring the IRC DDB gateway software, and I will stress that it was I had problems because I was doing things wrong. I was having putting spaces where there weren't supposed to be spaces in the configuration file. Um, with a bit of help from some guys on the uh, Yahoo groups and uh, some email exchanges, got the problem sorted out, and it works very well. So what we'll do now is I'll uh, I'll power it up. I plug a DC into my my hotspot. Um, if I've got a gripe and it's only a small gripe, is that there's no LEDs on this board. There's no indication that it's doing anything. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm showing you this video, but you're not gonna see it do anything. And you have to trust me, it, it's, it is working. Um, the DVAP dongle, of course, has LEDs, and you can see that uh, communication started with the IRC DDB gateway software, and the blue LED uh, is flashing. Um, I'm presuming that it's uh, working fine and hopefully we may hear the IRC DDB gateway software announce that uh, that it's not linked after it gets internet connections and it's started up. Not linked. Okay, so there we go, that transmitted. 438.9 is the frequency I've got, uh, got programmed. Now for a demonstration, what I'll do is I'll link up this uh, module B, this is the B port, the 70 centimeter port on my hotspot to my local D-Star Gateway VK5 RAC Module B. So we'll just pull out my call sign. 
and uh, VK5 REX BL will transmit. Bravo. Okay, that worked. Now we'll take this back to CQ, 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 and exit out of the menu. Okay, so that's that's ready to go. What I've got over here is my ID ninety one AD, and it is already listening to the local D star repeater. Of course, that's on seventy centimeters as well. So I'm keeping it a little bit away from the other radio. So in theory, I should be able to transmit on my ID thirty one. And it'll come out of the IC91 AD. We'll just see what happens. This is VK5 ZDA testing. Five, ZDA testing. One, two, three, four, five. Five, three, four, five. And it works that and way. It works that way. Okay. And of course, there's no indication on here that uh, it's receiving or transmitting. Testing one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we can go. We can go back. I can uh, grab. The IC91 VK5 ZDA test. VK5 ZDA test. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the bit of echo there. And the bit of echo there. Okay. So um, that's it doing its thing. Um, what I've got to do next is work out how to modify the case to. Uh, keep everything safe. Um, it's a bit exposed at the moment with the with the board. Um, the plastic lid that I have doesn't really fit neatly. I'm going to have to put a uh, a short coax on there to because uh, it's not really convenient to get to that SMA connector with the lid on. Um, I can I can cut out some slots for the for the connector, and I have to cut a slot for the microcontroller to sort of poke through because it's a little bit too high. Um, and I may put a socket sort of over here where um, to line up with um, with that one um, using a short length of RG178 uh, uh, or uh, one of the other Teflon thin coaxes. So uh, that's that's it. It's a really good product. Um, it's uh, how it's pretty well priced. I thought. I mean, it's. Uh, Around eighty something euros, eighty five euros. Uh, no, sorry, ninety euros. Eighty five is for the uh, the dual band Arduino shield. Ninety euros. So um, plus whatever the the, the shipping costs. Um, but it is certainly a neat board. It works well. Um, I haven't had any issues with it at all. Um, it's a, a good product. I recommend uh, heading over to the to the website uh, dvmega.oria.nl. That's Alpha uniform romeo india alpha aurea.nl or do a google search for dv mega and that should bring it up and uh, certainly take a look at it it's a really neat board and it does exactly what it's supposed to do it's easy to configure and works very well with the jonathan naylor software which supports it directly so there you go a dual band hotspot with both two meters with a dvap dongle and 70 centimeters with the Raspberry Pi DV Mega Radio. Uh, this is Michael, VK5ZEA. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. 7-3.